I'm going to show you how I record my iPod videos, such as my Minecraft Pocket Edition videos and my Jump Jack videos. So first off, what you're going to have to have is a jailbroken iPod. Some other um, quite famous Minecraft Pocket Edition YouTubers do this method, such as um, Matt Equis, Esquis, I think. So um, yeah, so what you're going to first need to do is have a jailbroken iDevice. So I have a jailbroken iPod 4G with the new untethered, um, uh, what's it called, Absinthe. And I don't use it for anything illegal or anything like that, I just use it for recording really. So you're going to have to have Cydia, and then you're going to download an app called Despair Recorder. It costs £4, no, yeah, I think it's £4. It costs £4 on the App Store, then you're going to have to download that. Then you're also going to want to have iFile and Dropbox, except you don't actually need that for the actual um, gameplay. You don't need that for recording. It's just, it makes much life much easier. So, then I've also getting asked what are the settings I use, because I know that I, I record with little lag. So these are the settings I use on this ray recorder. So you want to have the frame rate to the max, then lock frame rate off. You want portrait as well. You can then flip it in a um, video editor afterwards. So I always have portrait, because that uh, has the less lag. Then I use my microphone to record sound. So I have H.264, which says the .mov her .mov file then the video quality is low, and then open jail capture has to be on. Then you can have this how you want. I always have it as hidden, so I do um, gameplay stuff. And then tap size small, but that doesn't really matter. Then I have my YouTube account synced, but I took off the password. Okay, so then after that, you're going to want to get the game that you are playing. So I'm going to be doing this um, example with Minecraft Pocket Edition. Before that, I will always go down here and clear what is on my RAM. And then I also restart my iPod to save on um, little lag. I'm gonna look at the settings that I use to play Minecraft and film Minecraft videos. So let's just go into the settings. So I always have the lower graphics quality um, setting on when I'm recording Skyblock because that saves on a lot of lag as it turns down the render distance. So I definitely suggest that if you're gonna do, if your iPod lags a lot when you're recording Minecraft. I'd never ever turn fancy graphics on, but sometimes I think recording with normal graphics is fine. So let's just keep that on. And then let's just exit out of this. So I've just saved what I um what I just recorded. So if we go into Dropbox, um it will appear here, and as you can see, it's a 20 megabytes. So then after that, you can click it and you can click upload to YouTube, or you could go into iFile, and this is what I do. I go into iFile, then let's just reload it. And you go to this play recorder app. Um you can click open in iFile when you're on the app. So then Here's the video that I just recorded, and it was me showing how I do it. So your video player, Dropbox, and download. But if you have in Dropbox installed, you can click Dropbox and upload it to Dropbox. Drop that. Yeah, Dropbox. So now open Dropbox in a new um, bit, and then you can choose the destination you want to record, um, upload it to. So I'm uploading it to MCPE, and we'll click upload. Then, after a while, it will just upload. As you can see, these are the other videos that I've uploaded. So after a while, it will upload, and I'll come back when it's finished uploading. So it's just finished uploading. As you can see, here's the file, this one there. So then you go into Dropbox, and you can see it's uploaded right there. So then what you do is then you go onto your PC, and you download it straight from there. So that's just an easy way of putting it onto your PC. So I hope I've shown you some useful tips in this video. And um, subscribe. And if you wanted any more information, look at the description below or ask me in the comment section, and I love reading your comments. So thank you and goodbye.